Now, he's debated the existence of God with intellectuals like Christopher Hitchens and A.C. Grayling. And on Wednesday in Cambridge, theologian Dr. Bill Craig is hoping to take on perhaps the highest profile atheist of them all, Richard Dawkins. So far, he's refused to to debate with Dr. Craig. So his campaign has taken out adverts on the sides of buses in Oxford saying there's probably no Dawkins. Dr. Craig is aiming to present a rational basis for the Christian faith, defend it against objections and expose the perceived flaws of other worldviews. And he joins us now. Good morning to you, Dr. Craig. How has Good this morning, week Susie. been so far? Well, we've just gotten started. In fact, really, I, I've just arrived here in the UK and uh, we'll be having a day free today. And then tomorrow night, we'll begin with our debate with Professor Stephen Law in Central Hall, Westminster, on the existence of God. And what are you hoping to achieve with these debates? I'm hoping that people will begin to think of Christian faith as a personal option for themselves, that this is something they would like to look into and to know more about and to consider in a fresh way the viability of Christian faith. Now, we've got a clip here from Andrew Copson, who is the chief executive of the British Humanist Association. He's somebody who says he won't debate with you sort of one-on-one. Here's what he has to say. Whereas, for example, people like Anthony Grayling will happily sit down for a a conversation, public conversation with the Archbishop of Canterbury, or people like Richard Dawkins will happily sit down on platforms for discussions with uh, the Bishop of Oxford or whatever. They don't really want to engage with this particular person. A lot of people, and you can see the reports of debates online, a lot of people find him slippery and contorted. His arguments are often very obscure, and although they're baseless, they require so much refuting that it's difficult to do so in a debate format. And the general format that he prefers, those one-on-one occasions, often feel like setups, really, with largely Christian audiences who've mainly come to see him. And the format is sort of micromanaged, really, to his advantage. Slippery and contorted with obscure, baseless arguments. Oh what, what's, what's your reaction to that, Dr. Craig? Well, I, I just think it's extraordinarily disingenuous. I'm going to be at the Cambridge Debating Union on the 20th, where Andrew uh, Copson and I, as well as Peter Williams and Arif Ahmed, will be having a four-man debate on these issues. And this is going to be before a student audience at Cambridge University. It's not a Christian audience. Anyone, uh, any student, that is, can come to that. And at other venues that I'll be speaking at during this tour, they're always public venues that are open to anyone. And so I think it's just disingenuous on his part to suggest that this is in some way micromanaged. I'll, I'll participate in any sort of forum. What? And Why do you think that Richard Dawkins has hitherto uh, refused to debate with you? And is he going to this week? I doubt that he will show up. He's had a number of reasons why he doesn't want to participate. He says he's never heard of me. He said I'm not a bishop or an archbishop. He says he doesn't debate creationists, uh, never mind that I'm not a creationist. He says it wouldn't look good on his curriculum vitae, uh, and he says he's busy. So for all of those reasons, I suspect he probably won't be there. What is the point of this kind of debate? Surely living out your faith is enough, Mm. isn't it? Well, I think part of living out your faith is always being ready to explain to another person why you believe as you do. Um, And therefore, I'm convinced that in Western culture, where we've become so increasingly secularized because of the influence of people like Dawkins and others, that it's important that people hear the good intellectual reasons that exist for Christian faith. I think that Christian faith is a worldview that stands intellectually head and shoulders above any other worldview or ism that one might hold, and therefore I, I'm very eager to participate in these sub- public forums where uh, one can present such arguments. Thank you very much. Those are the views of uh, William Craig, who will be at St. Andrew the Great Church in Cambridge on Wednesday at 730